what I want to reassure you about is that cataract surgery is a phenomenal operation. The technical advances have made it so slick and neat and it really truly is a wonderful operation to behold. And cataract surgery, once the cataracts are gone, they don't come back. So it's a condition that can be cured, unlike other types of eye conditions. And because the surgery now is so good, it's all done with very, very small incisions, sort of two millimeters. Can you imagine two millimeters on a ruler? That's the size of the incision we're making now to actually remove cataracts, which means that the actual operation itself, the recovery time is much, much quicker. You're in um, for a day case only, so you don't have to spend the night in hospital, which I think often makes patients feel very, very anxious. Um, and the aftercare, so the recovery time is much quicker than ever before. I suppose once you've made that decision that actually yes it is affecting me and I would like to have surgery, then you need a very honest and frank discussion about what your options are. And again, I would say that you are an individual. So although cataract surgery exists as an entity and the steps of the operation are virtually the same in every case, there are certain flourishes or other details such as what lens implant we're going to use. Are we going to do anything else at the time of that operation to optimise your eye health, your specific eye health? And by that I'm sort of meaning patients who have other problems. So if you have glaucoma and cataracts, you absolutely should see a glaucoma surgeon who specialises in cataract surgery because we'd be able to treat both conditions at the same time. Um, so I think it's a bit of a missed opportunity if you have just a cataract operation when you have glaucoma as well because we miss that opportunity when we're inside the eye already to treat both conditions. Similarly if you have inflammatory eye disease or you have macular degeneration again having a cataract operation we may be able to do something that treats those other conditions at the same time so we don't want you to have more operations than are absolutely necessary so let's make the most personalized choice about your surgery so that it treats all of the eye conditions that you may possibly have. And I think once you realise that cataract surgery just doesn't come as one option, that can again be very reassuring. You think, okay, well I'm making a positive step now to try and make my day-to-day -day activities easier to do because I'm going to have my cataract operation, but it may also help my quality of life if I can get off my glaucoma drops or if I can minimise my risk of getting um, fluid collecting in the retina because of my diabetes or macular degeneration. So there are other eye health benefits as well. There are other lens options that may um, be of interest to some people that we can use in private practice that aren't necessarily available in the NHS. And by that I'm specifically talking about multifocal lenses. So I think once you've experienced that feeling of starting to hold documents much further away from yourself and realising that you don't have that focusing power for near and far anymore, you suddenly start to realise that actually, you know, with age certain things come and this need for reading glasses comes to all of us as we get older. There is no escaping it. And some people are perfectly happy to wear a pair of reading glasses. It's not a particular um, uh, a problem for them, but there are other people who really hate it. And, Having the option of putting a multifocal lens implant in can help to bring you back to times when you could read at near and intermediate on your computer and for far. Because of course, as human beings now, we don't just have work and life choices that exist at near and far. We also have this new intermediate computer distance as well. So the lens choice that we have now with specialists who are experienced in, in using them. We can discuss what it is that you do day to day so that we can really steer you to what lens implant we think might be right for you. And the other choices need careful consideration because there are some people for whom they are not appropriate. So please don't just think because your friend or relative has had it that will be, it would be appropriate for you. But a good specialist will make you aware of all of the different choices and try and steer you down which of those are best for you in your individual circumstances. And I think that's really key. That's really why you want to see somebody who specialises in the full spectrum of cataract surgery. And that's certainly something that I can offer and make sure you're clear with because really you get one chance to do a good operation. I say this to all my patients, I say this to all my trainees, so you really want to make sure you're as clear as possible about what your treatment plan is rather than 
thinking afterwards, oh, I wish I'd done this, or perhaps we could have offered you that. You want to be as clear as possible um, that you've explored all options and you've come to a mutual agreement. Because, of course, at the end of the day, the agreement is from both parties. I can tell you what's possible, and you can tell me what you'd like, and then we decide, OK, let's try and put those two together so that you are very happy the other side of the operation. Now, cataract surgery is available on the NHS. Again, it's the same equipment that we use in private healthcare. We have the same high quality microscopes, the same high quality machines. But what we offer you in private care is more choice about the timing of your operation. You get to choose the surgeon who will operate on you. Now, in the NHS, you will never have a surgeon who's not well qualified or up to doing the case. However, it may not be somebody that you've met beforehand and built up a rapport with, although that doesn't reflect on their skills at all, they will be a skilled surgeon, but I think a lot of patients find it very reassuring that there's one doctor who takes them through the whole process. So in private healthcare, what we can offer you is you have the same surgeon who will meet you at the very beginning, talk you through the options, understand your lifestyle and what's important to you and your family, so we can then make the best operation plan for you. And that's really to do with the lens implant that we're going to choose to put in. So we have very high quality distance lens implants, which are the standard lens implant that are put in both in the NHS and in private healthcare. And I would say that I have seen now many times, and it never ceases to amaze me, patients on day one or two after their operation, so you're used to wearing glasses your whole life, that's what you reach for first thing in the morning and you can't start to get up and get on with your life till you've put them on. As soon as you have a cataract operation and we've tried to correct your distance vision as much as possible, suddenly you wake up and you think, gosh, I can see everything. I'm not dependent now on putting my glasses on. Showering becomes easier you can see from the moment that you get up getting up to go to the loo in the night becomes much easier and that, I think that's particularly relevant when you're older we know that mobility and um, the risk of falls reduces the better your vision is as you get older so there are many many wonderful things that you suddenly realize after the operation and although as a specialist we would tell you to expect this Actually, I think until you've had the first eye done, you don't really truly understand how transformational that the operation can be. Um, we've had patients who suddenly can go swimming now without their glasses and, you know, being in London, I see quite a few professionals who are, you know, professional cyclists or, um, or professional amateur, I should say, hobbyists in doing sort of um, uh, outdoor swimming, triathlons, and suddenly think, look, I can do this without contact lenses. And, you know, when I'm halfway around the circuit, if my contact lens falls out, you know, my race time, you know, it has gone through, um, through the roof. Whereas now you can say, I don't need that anymore. And so it has a massive knock-on effect on virtually every aspect of your life. And it may just be something as simple as, you know, I can't drive anymore because my cataracts take me below the driving standard to suddenly thinking, I can drive again, I'm independent, I can get to where I want to go without relying on other people. And I think, given that most of us are living longer, I think we all want to be as independent as we can be for as long as we can be. And I think cataract surgery can be absolutely transformational in that, absolutely transformational. <laughs>